guys welcome cat ray here so for this video and this project we will be taking this beautiful vinyl fence that my neighbors put in and lining it with some hog wire hog wire is this really really thick wire i'll show you a little bit about it basically is to keep our dogs and our chickens in our yard and out of our neighbor's yard because man you don't want your animals living running into your neighbor's yard no we don't want that so let me show you this hog wire okay so this is hog wire right here there's a lot of different kinds of this wiring fencing that you can buy but the one that we bought has these pieces a lot closer and then they kind of spread out as it goes up just to keep all the smaller creatures out from there you know <sighs> but to keep it on the stakes we bought these little clips little clip and it comes with the screw Just snap it on there you can see I put one or we put three on here on the post one two three and now it can't flop around but one thing with this is you want to use it on the post but not these panels because you put on this these are a lot more um, they aren't as solid in there so you could break them so let's go around and get all these little tools in. Hey, like go. Okay, or go. <laughs> <laughs> Looper reel. Okay, so it's recording now. Yes. Yeah, it's turn recording. it off and then we'll start. Up. Okay, so right here we got two jobs. Rick is going through all these with his drill, and I'm doing this with this screwdriver. And to tell you the truth, Rick's got the easiest job because he just has to take that drill and drill a hole. Easy as pie. <laughs> So I cut these three wires, we're going to put three of these wires along here. Because if you look at the fencing, it's floppy, you know, that's not going to hold very strong. So we need to use these wires and hold these things strong. So it's very simple, you just take it, kind of loop it around. I cut a lot of extra wire, I'm sure I won't need it. But we loop it around, we twist it. Goodness, there we go. We tighten it up and it will hold strong. Okay, so this hog wire is in there pretty strong. We got it on all the posts. We got all the pieces of wire together. Now if we go along the bottom of the fencing, there's holes for irrigation. There's holes around the posts. So now we just gotta take some things and fill this. You can see there's a small little area. Our dog Luffy's already been going into that many times. So we have this little wiring that you can buy. Honestly, I think you can buy this just about anywhere, but we bought it off of Amazon. It comes in big, long pieces. These are all stuck together like this. Just stick it here. The ground is really, really wet right now because we irrigated last night. So this is like perfect time to be trying to stick this wire in. So if we shove this in real good, it'll be perfect. So we can get it down in there really strong and the doggy can't get through. Or the chickens, or the raccoons, you know, all those mini animals that try to get through these holes. Stuck, Luffy, you're stuck. Luffy's invading the neighbor's yard right now. Luffy! Luffy! Luffy, no! Luffy! Come to this side of our yard, puppy. Okay, right there is probably the biggest hole. So Shiloh is filling that hole with the wires for us. Okay guys, I am all done with this project. I am so excited to be done with this because before, if the dogs, if they'd run outside, there was always just a small little part of me that was worried they were gonna get into the neighbor's yard and cause some problems, and now we do not have to worry about that. So remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.